Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's M. So today I have for you guys what I have picked up from Victoria's Secret. This was before um, semi-annual sales started. And the body care that I picked up from there, it was when they had it for like $6, I think, or $5. They ran that sale right before semi-annual sale. So I picked these up then and used a coupon. So I got them for like $4 and some change. I have one item that I've picked up from the semi-annual sale. Um, only one. <laughs> and the I'm thinking about placing another order now that they are running the 25% off. Um, extra 25% off the clearance items. So I might place one last order for the semi-annual sale for Victoria's Secret. And then I will just start here with what I picked up from Fragrance Net. Um, the first thing was a fail. I was really excited. It's the Sherry Pistache. I don't know how to pronounce that exactly. Um, but it's Varen's Sweet, the brand. This is awful. <laughs> I think I'm going to take it to work and just leave it somewhere and let somebody take it with them because I don't like it. Um, I think this smells like super cheap and it smells like it almost turns my stomach. It's not in to my nose. It's just not a good mixture of um, cherry and pistachio. I was, I was hoping like that sweetheart cherry is perfection. This is not like that. This is. It smells like a really cheap perfume. It was only like seven dollars and some change, and it smells like it was like a dollar or less. Um, I don't like it. It has this terrible undertone of like it just it instantly turns my stomach so that is going to get taken with me to work like I said and I'm just gonna leave it somewhere for someone to take home um but this is one that I wanted to get a backup of before it disappeared because I had originally just bought the small bottle of it um and it came back on fragrance net so I figured I had to just get it and I had a 36% off coupon that I got sent in the mail so it was just Perfect. It was awesome. Um, the Black Opium Le Parfum. I got the tester in the 3.3 ounce. Um, or the 3 ounce, I mean. I'm sorry. And look at this. I was hoping, I was hoping that it would come with the cap. And it did. It came all intact. The cap and everything. So I picked up the 3 ounce of this. And I believe it was the same price as the 1 ounce on the Ulta website. Or cheaper I think it was under 100 for this. So I'm so excited. Now I don't have to worry about, I can just use my small bottle as I would like. And I don't have to worry about running out of this one. This is so delicious, wonderful, beautiful. I would love to try the new one, but I think I'm going to wait a little while since I just picked this up. Um, but that's also another reason I made sure to pick this up because I knew, I know how it goes. Once they release a new flanker, this one's going to get pushed out within a year. This is going to be like so hard to find. So, or like incredibly pricey when you do find it. So yeah, I got my big bottle, uh, backup bottle of this. I did have an issue when I ordered. Um, they, it said like, oh, a problem with your payment. And then it ended up charging me twice for the order but only one order went through and so it took a little while to get that figured out but we got it figured out um and it only took a little while because I was having issues on my end so but yeah that I'm so excited to have so one fail and one absolute ah so excited about that that was such a steal okay and the next things I picked up are from Victoria's Secret. Like I said, the body care sale that they ran before semi-annual sale started. Um, I picked up, and I always use the free panty coupon, so I picked up, I got a free panty as well. Um, this, I picked up a frost melt, another one of these, because this is so delicious. It is so good. I love me a chocolate mint scent, like, um, like a thin mint, you know? just absolutely delicious. I thought for sure that would sell out right away on the site, but I think it's still on there. Like I think they still have the frost melt. I'm shocked that that didn't sell out. Although nothing really seems to be selling out this sale. Like I think the economy is really showing because it's like, that's nothing selling out. But anyway, um, I picked up the frost melt, fresh mint and chocolate lotion. Pick that up. I think I got two of these. 
Yes, I picked up two of those because I now have three of the mists, so I wanted to have a couple lotions to go with those because I don't have anything else that could go with that. I did pick up the Santal Berry Silk in the lotion. I really enjoy the scent. This scent seems to be one that you either love or you absolutely despise, and I really love this one, so I made sure to get me a lotion in that. And then I grabbed one more of the mists in that because that's obviously never, ever, ever probably going to return. Um, and then I picked up the Wild Fig and Manuka Honey. This one is really pretty, but it definitely dries down. It's when you initially spray it, it's a lot more sweet, sweet honey fig. And then once it dries down, it turns into a little bit more of a green fig, which I'm not mad about it because it still smells really pretty. Um, but I think that's all I'm going to pick up in that scent. And then I did pick up the Sugar Plum Fig because I really wanted to try this. I, fig can be hit or miss for me. I definitely prefer a sweeter fig, so, um, rather than a green. But this smells really pretty too. It definitely smells like a Victoria's Secret scent, but it's a little, it's a little different than like your usual. It's got the rose in there. The rose and cinnamon and um, cinnamon orange and rose and fig. So yeah, this is really, this is a nice one too. I'm happy I picked that one up. I was nervous about the cinnamon because a lot of times I'm not, I'm not into cinnamon in fragrances as much. It can be kind of overpowering and obnoxious to my nose, but yeah. So, and then I also picked up these sun slopes. So I finished off this collection. I wasn't planning on buying this whole collection, but I did. Um, I grabbed the Sun Slope Icy Coconut and Amber, which this smells really lovely too. That smells really good. It really reminds me of um, the coconut scent from last year. Why can't I think of the name now? But the one from last year that they brought out, it reminds me of that one a lot. And then, oh, this is so lovely too. I picked up Night Sip, Violet Petals and Champagne. This, it's Champagne Bubbles, Lights Up Violet and Cedarwood. It is really good. Like, this is beautiful. Um, I almost thought about getting the lotion, but I figured I don't really need a lotion to go with this. This is one that I could mix other things with and layer this on top. So, this is really pretty though. Well worth the well worth the buy if you're interested in it and then this is the one thing that I picked up from the summit annual sale so far um and I bought it right away because usually these nude color bags sell out right away and shockingly enough this is still on the site so I guess I could have waited until the 25% off but other times past years when I waited to pick up a bag in a color that I really liked it was always gone by the time the sale came around or the extra 25% off came around sorry I feel like I have a fuzz on my nose um so I just went ahead and grabbed this one this time around um but yeah I picked up this beautiful bag I love her so much she is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous this nude um, mauve pink and it's like your full leather type of bag you can wear it crossbody on the shoulder you can take these off and just have a cute little cutesy little carry bag like that um, it's got a nice big couple pockets here my stuff is already in here sorry I've been using it and then it's got a center pocket um, with the zip the only thing that I did not oh and it came with the little mirror this one actually came with the little mirror that it's supposed to the only thing that I was not super impressed by is that this zipper kind of is a little hard to open just right here on this part but other than that I figure I can just take something kind of like zhuzh that up and make it move a little you know zip a little easier I think but yeah I love this bag so much I love it so much and the other thing that I've been looking at picking up was the pink color in the camera bag style because and the wallet that goes with that I think I might grab that on the 25% off I really enjoy their purses I think that they are pretty darn good quality if you can get them on a sale I'm never gonna buy one full price like you ain't gonna catch me spending 85 90 dollars on this bag heck no 30 bucks I'll buy it but ain't gonna be spending no no nearly hundred dollars on it but um if you can get them on a sale totally well worth it good enough quality I mean you spend that much going to Walmart and picking up a bag and it's gonna crap out within months you know a couple months so no I am very happy with this purchase from semi-annual sale from Victoria's Secret and um 
<laughs> yeah, like I said, I am thinking about picking up um, that pink purse in the camel bag style and the wallet. And then also another oh so sexy perfume because I don't have any more backups of that left. I opened my backup of that and I think I'm going to get one more of that because and probably the lotion to go with that because that is a favorite and absolute top top favorite of mine in perfumes and just scents in general and I love it so much and since I don't know when the next time I'll actually be back I think I'm gonna pick that up so yes you guys that is everything that I've picked up from Victoria's Secret in like the past month or so and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I will probably place another order for the semi-annual sale, but that's about it. I am really bummed, though, this year that the, um, the clothing selection, it's, n like, there's nothing similar to what they've had in past years, uh, for pink clothes, like their long sleeve tees. Everything is cropped to, like, super shortness, or it's just completely boxy squareness, and I'm just... <laughs> I'm sad. I miss the old hoodies, the old crew necks, the old long sleeve tees, the old just regular t-shirts. I'm very sad, but I'm also glad that I picked up so many in past years because that's, that's why I do that. That's why I pick so many of something up because I have always found that once I fall in love with something, boom, it disappears. So um, I am happy that I have a little collection of sweaters and shirts and everything from there, but please, 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 Victoria's Secret, pink in general with your clothing, bring back the old styles that we love so much. Please bring them back. Your long sleeve tee, your campus tee, all that. Ugh, bring them back, please. Please bring them back this year because they are so missed. <laughs> They are so missed by us who love the the styles that you used to carry. Like, if anybody from Pink sees this, which you probably never will, but I miss those styles. So, yeah, that is everything I grabbed, you guys. And I would love to hear from you guys if you picked anything up from the semi-annual sale or any of these scents that I showed you guys. Um, let me know down in the comments. Uh, also, if any of you have tried the Varen's Sweet brand, is there any any of these that are actually pretty good? Or are they all, um, like, along those same lines? I would love to know. Yeah, this is all coming a bit late, but it's okay. So, first thing my husband got me as part of my Christmas gift was this bag set um, that was purchased with purchase at... Bath and Body Works. It's got the cute little Bath and Body Works tag right there. The bag is super cute. He was afraid it was going to rip on me because of the fabric, but so far so good it has not ripped, so that's good. Um, but it's this beautiful iridescent puffer jacket type thing. Really cute. Um, and then it came with this box of goodies inside. So first thing, I'm so excited because I can finally use these. Um, but these cute little penguin socks, they're so adorable. Shea Infused Lounge socks. I've never tried one of these socks from them ever before but I've always heard everyone raving about them and how much they love them so super excited about those love a good comfy comfy sock I love comfort um and then pure wonder is the scent that it came with in this now it's not my favorite scent ever but I'm gonna keep this stuff because my husband had the thought to get this for me so I'm gonna keep it I did however <laughs> I gave my set of the body care to my sister this past summer because it just, it was coming off a bit sharp to my nose. My nose has changed quite a bit over this last year, I've noticed, and, um, but yeah, I'm going to use it anyway. So Pure Wonder in the Foaming Hand Soap. This lighting does not do this justice. It is beautiful, like sparkly, iridescent, um, all these silver parts here. I love it. And then here is the Shower Gel, Pure Wonder Shower Gel. And it's all pure wonder in here, so. And then it came with a lotion. And the body mist. And then, last thing in the box is the three wick candle. And as you can see, if you know your candles, that I have the single wick back here, the one from last year. And now I have a three wick of pure wonder. So, yeah, super Super excited to add this to my collection. It's beautiful. Like I say, this does not do it justice. It's raised. It's beautiful. Iridescent. Gorgeousness. All the silver parts. Um, I think I personally like this better in 
home fragrance than in body care, but I'll make it work. I'll mix it with a few different things and we will see what we can do with that. Now for the body care that I on body care day, um, I had my husband go in the first day um, that you could and I had him pick up three of these because I figured they would be gone fast and that is the Coco Shea body oils. At first I picked up one on um, a sale in the fall and I was like, ah, eh, not that impressed. But then I started using it more and more and I actually was really impressed and I always use a body oil every single time I shower. That is my first step. I use some sort of body oil. And so we picked up three of these, which I'm glad because I think he got the last three on the shelf, he said, which I am so happy that he ran in there and picked those up for me. And then I went in um, the next day and picked up Vanilla Bean Noel Fine Fragrance Mist, and this smells amazing. Oh, it smells delicious, and I'm so glad I got it this year. Um, I heard everyone talking and saying it was better than previous previous years, which I would agree because I think the last couple years I smelled this scent in store and it was just pure alcohol when I would smell it. And this one is not. This one smells wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And then I also picked up the body butter to go along with that. I love me a good body butter. It's nice and thick and it's not a lotion, which is so exciting. So there is the body butter. It's so thick, so thick excited about that and then I also picked up one more of the sensitive skin colloidal oatmeal body butters because I really like this and I like the like it's a very mild scent it's really nice nothing nothing crazy but I do really enjoy the feel of it on the skin so I made sure to grab one of those as well now that is everything that I picked up prior to some my annual sale um, I think that's everything. I feel like there's other things that I'm forgetting, but oh well. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is everything that I purchased pre-semi-annual sale. And I am going to film my semi-annual sale haul in a different video here. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you very soon. Bye. Bye.